Entertainment Circle plus Sand Sculpture Comic Writing plus Crazy Language Literature plus Fun Stuff, Lu Qianyun wore a book and became the brainless and vicious supporting actress of the entertainment industry's female leads comeback in the article. The whole internet is criticizing her, and even the dogs on the roadside would shout at her at the top of their throats when they saw her. Lu Qianyun decided to take over the mess and strike hard. Black Fan 1 Because of you, I have decided not to watch this variety show. Lu Qianyun said, I don't listen to a word when it comes to bird songs, as you look elegant and refined. Black Powder 2 Whoever marries someone like you will have eight lifetimes of blood mold. Lu Qianyun said, The bits and pieces of society, the little pride in my mother's eyes, don't worry, I'm safe and sound. Black Fan 3 Can you go back and be your single dog with peace of mind? Don't get in the way of variety shows. Lu Qianyun Don't call me a single dog, it would hurt your self-esteem too much. Please call me Mother Danhua. Crazy words stunned netizens, and in the face of interviews with reporters, she boldly opened her microphone. The reputation is well dot known, with both good and bad. I used to be a little vegetable chicken, but now I am a battle chicken. Help, why is this crazy woman so, so? Charming. New netizens are all in love. Novel keyword. Let you go slow synthesis, are you driving me crazy? No pop-ups, let you go to slow synthesis, are you driving me crazy? Download the complete set of TXT, let you go slow synthesis, are you driving me crazy? Latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Pre-sold funeral tickets, ranking 1 can be buried together. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1. Pre-sold funeral tickets, ranking 1 can be buried together, living is too tiring, so I started pre-selling tickets for my funeral. Those who spend more can sit on my coffin board, and the top one can be buried with me. Friends who like it, please exit the live broadcast room and blacklist the anchor. Lu Qianyun lay on the rocking chair, looking up at the sky at an irresistible 45 degrees, holding a coconut shell in her right hand. With a slight movement of her mouth, she placed a straw in her mouth and took a deep sip of coconut juice. There is no such thing as not going crazy at work, it's just the difference between going crazy early and going crazy late. After half an hour of fishing on the rocking chair, the staff in front of Lu Qianyun had already raised about a dozen wooden boards in an area not visible in the live broadcast room, all of which were written. Give me a task. If it weren't for the live broadcast now, she estimated that these already hideous people would have rushed forward and dealt her a severe blow. Helplessly, after going crazy, she could only put down her coconut shell and pick up her phone, standing up with the body of a 99-year-old left-behind elderly person who had beaten 88 buckets of water under the scorching sun. Looking around in the yard, the dilapidated yard was so desolate that even mice didn't want to visit. The yellow hay in the corner was almost taller than humans, and the windows on the wooden house creaked in the wind, feeling like they were about to fall down in the next second. Lu Qianyun put her mobile phone aside to find a place to put it up, and picked up the shovel to hoe in the corner. While hoeing, he hummed a tune and said, digging and digging in a small courtyard, I dare not even spend a small amount of mahogany flowers. Who would have thought that after drinking a little wine, she would wear a book and wear it on a celebrity with an abnormal brain? The original work is a refreshing article about a grassroots female protagonist's comeback in the entertainment industry that she has read. The original character is a malicious female supporting character in the book, a stumbling block on the path of the female protagonist by Hua's counterattack, and a presence that even if the female protagonist says a word, she will criticize twice. He has no strength but is very demonic, and has been criticized by netizens on Weibo. Well. How to say it? Just getting rid of the mess of my past life, I didn't expect to wake up and take over another one. Lu Qianyun couldn't help but feel speechless on her forehead. Continuing with the plot is definitely impossible, but now she's stepping out of the circle and enjoying life she felt that there was only one ten yuan left in her pocket, and her bank balance seemed to be in circles. 
she immediately gave up on this idea. It's not that she was originally too poor, it's just that the company she signed for was too unscrupulous. If you want money, you have to follow the company's arrangements. There is a popular artist like Lu Qianyun in a small company, and if she can't clean up the wool, how can she be willing to let go? 80% of the money earned from participating in various activities is deposited into the company's account. Only when she participates in the next activity arranged by the company will she be given all the money from the previous activity. Sometimes, even when the company doesn't pay, when she goes to the company to ask for money, the CEO of the company calls her to the office to start drawing big cakes for her, and all kinds of wild and empty words come out loud. You are the pillar of our company. If you use your money to build the company now, you will be the company's elder. I've been too busy lately. After a few months, I'll give you a share of the company's shares, so that when the company goes public in the future, you'll be the shareholder. Unfortunately, the original body still eats this set. It seems that we still need to go back to our old profession. Lu Qianyun was an artist in the entertainment industry in her past life, with exceptional business abilities. However, she later withdrew from the industry due to some reasons. Lu Qianyun, gather at the village entrance. The sound of shouting from afar came, and Lu Qianyun got up and moved her body, threw down her hoe, and walked towards the village entrance. When she wore it, she was actually participating in a live variety show called My Slow Life, and the audience could watch how a group of celebrities live their slow lives. Every day, the director releases fixed tasks for guests to complete, for example, the assistant director who just crazily raised a sign is supervising her to complete the morning task of cleaning the yard. According to the process given by the director's team, calling her to go to the village entrance is definitely going to release the afternoon task. It's just that the list clearly states that it won't be released until 2 p.m., why do we have to go there before 1 p.m.? Walking on the road, Lu Qianyun was sorting out the plot from the original book in her mind. On this variety show, Lu Qianyun's various brainless acts of being a demon can be said to be the last straw that crushed her. Because she did it too badly, she was completely banned by the entertainment industry and her Weibo account collapsed on the same day. For nothing else, just to celebrate this day, netizens refer to it as the first year of the land festival. I thought the unpleasant environment in her past life was enough for her to drink a pot, but who would have thought she would encounter a more unpleasant environment? However she still feels good now, after all, she feels very happy to be able to stay away from that group of people. When she mentions them, Lu Qianyun's mind remembers all the things she has experienced before. She shudders and her scalp tingles. At this point, the variety show live broadcast room was almost bursting. Lu Qianyun is really crazy. She made others wait for her at the village entrance for an hour. She was just leisurely sunbathing and drinking coconut juice here, so shameless. Just came in, I feel like the beautiful woman spoke quite humorously just now, and her appearance is good. I will be the top one on the list and I will be buried with you. Is this the first time I've seen this woman upstairs? I'll tell you, she's not really a good person. She's notorious for her misdeeds, and the things she did can't be counted with either hand. I advise you to speak with caution. At first glance, this woman is not a good person. Her reputation in the entertainment industry is so bad, it must be a problem with her character. Lu Qianyun is really annoying. Our family's Hua Hua collaborated with Shi Ringdi in the first drama. Unexpectedly, Lu Qianyun posted on Weibo to tell the truth that Shi Ringdi was in a passionate relationship with her. Please pay attention to your discretion when filming, which directly made our family's Hua Hua feel embarrassed. Why is the live broadcast now? Didn't it just start at 2 p.m. when the task was released? Suddenly, the live broadcast was really sudden, and I haven't prepared yet. Upstairs, you understand sudden things. The agent Zhang Jia of Lu Qianyun, who is guarding in front of the live broadcast room, is almost furious now. Before the company arranged for Lu Qianyun to go to the variety show, she had repeatedly instructed her to stay focused and work harder, 
so that she could earn some popularity on the show and not be scolded 24 hours a day. There were always 300 days of being scolded on the hot search in 365 days. Every week when netizens are unhappy, they drag her out and scold her. But how did she do it when she appeared on a variety show? Completely ignore what she says. During the live broadcast, she openly displayed herself poorly and even said that she was selling her own funeral tickets. She suspected that Lu Qianyun was evil and suddenly began to fall ill. I really don't want to hang out in the circle. Zhang's lungs were sore with anger, so she turned off the live broadcast and didn't watch Lu Qianyun. She then turned around to take charge of the work of other artists. The new book is here, the sand sculpture comedy article, come and get in the car. End of this chapter. 2. Chapter 2 When going out, identity is given by yourself. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 When going out, identity is self-given under the big tree next to the village entrance. Lu Qianyun is such a good person. Let's wait for her here for an hour. With the sun above her head, Bai Xian held a fan in her left hand and complained while fanning, how could she have such thick skin to have teacher Yunji waiting for her here? After speaking, I quietly glanced at the woman next to me, Yunji, who had obvious wrinkles at the corners of her eyes. She was an old and powerful actress in the entertainment industry, a pure national-level actress who spoke with her strength. Her presence was present in every important film and drama judging panel in China. After Bai Xian finished speaking, Yun Ji's face couldn't help but show displeasure. After all these years of entering the entertainment industry, no younger generation had asked her to wait under the sun for an hour. Her fame is unknown to everyone in China, and anyone who comes up with it knows the classic film and television works she has acted in. Even the most famous actors and actresses in the industry now have to politely shout, Miss Yun, when they see her. Now she actually has to wait for a little actor who has already become confused. She became more and more angry as she thought, but she still tried her best to maintain calmness on the surface. She knew that this little actress attracted the director to play a silly girl with her unique rustic charm, right? It's already confusing now, and I can't figure out who to show the situation as the best female lead. Seeing Yun Ji's angry expression, by Xian was almost overjoyed with a smile in her heart. A woman who relied on the director to give her a bite to eat, did she really think she had any acting skills? Just a jumping clown, she lifted her proud head slightly and looked at the road in the distance, waiting for Lu Qianyun to embarrass later. After waiting for a quarter of an hour, before Lu Qianyun could come over, by Xian impatiently kicked the small horse on the ground next to her, and a fire broke out on her head, asking the nearby photographer, where are the people? Didn't they say they had already come? The photographer kindly replied to her, it's almost it's almost it. In a place that by Xian couldn't see, the photographer rolled his eyes. As everyone was waiting for Lu Qianyun, in order to avoid the stars complaining and being seen, the director had the live broadcast machines shut down first. But I didn't expect that he and the celebrity he was shooting would instantly change their appearance, with a vicious green tea outside the camera. Fortunately, he had given her some perfect angle close-ups because she was his idol by Hua's sister before. What a waste of his kindness. The person in charge on site immediately sent a message to Lu Qianyun, a dozen or so messages in a row, but there was no response. His anxious head was sweating profusely, and he kept cursing at Lu Qianyun, a cold and unbearable celebrity. Why haven't you come yet? Ding. He received a voice message saying, what's urgent? Don't you know that people have three anxieties? He helplessly replied, the artists here are all waiting. By Xian can't wait anymore. Lu Jie, please see if you can finish the show and come over quickly. It's really urgent. Lu Qianyun. Let Bai Xian answer the phone. After the person in charge connected, they found Bai Xian and handed over the phone. Lu Qianyun's voice came out of her phone. Are you not going to the bathroom in your lifetime? What's wrong? 
what about learning to be a chicken, rectum? Before by XIN realized who it was, she was scolded for a moment. After being stunned for a few seconds, she realized and immediately cursed, Lu Qianyun, are you too shameless? Is it okay for you to come late and let us wait here? Sword Man There is no live broadcast on camera now, and by XIN has no hesitation in cursing people. Lu Qianyun calmed down and reasoned with SB calmly, are you deaf? Don't you know that the director notified us to meet at 2 o'clock? You must run over to bask in the sun at one o'clock. Who's the blame? I know you have a straight stomach, but you can't pull it out of your mouth. She was furious when she learned that the early shooting was due to those few people. By X in. Dot. The person in charge at the back strongly empathized and secretly gave a thumbs up to Lu Qianyun. Originally, they didn't need to shoot at noon, but by Xian and Yunji had to go out, and other celebrities had to accompany them, causing them to hold on to the machine and closely follow the shooting. In the broadcasting room, the director roared, Where are the people following me? Report me the location of Lu Qianyun. What did she do? The director became angry, and everyone else in the studio trembled. A person in the corner silently raised their hand and stuttered, saying, Director, didn't you say it's not enough with the cinematographer? She won't arrange it for now. The director seemed to have been splashed with a bucket of cold water and turned off the engine, raising his hand to rub his forehead. He regretted it. Why did he invite Lu Qianyun to this program back then? It's just a sin. I was originally trying to attract a wave of traffic by leveraging the black and red attributes of Lu Qianyun, who would have thought that this Lu Qianyun was too creative. There is still a bit of a brain problem and it is for these reasons that he reduced Lu Qianyun's camera lens. Who knew that after coming out of the house allocated to her, he couldn't find her directly. Turn on the hidden camera in the village and show her to me. Also, quickly send over a follow.up camera. Now all the cameras in the village have been turned off, and all the invited guests are getting angry. Only one Lu Qianyun can be photographed. Is the beauty alone? Let me give you a small gift. No need, thank you. No money, it's free. No need. After finishing speaking, Lu Qianyun bypassed the person approaching in front of her and continued walking straight with her hands in her pockets, ignoring the person she encountered scanning codes and giving gifts on the street halfway through. The big brother continued to approach relentlessly, holding up a QR code sign and saying, then help me scan it and register as a customer. You can know in advance what activities there will be in the future, which can be considered as a small benefit to see you beautiful. Lu Qianyun. Dot. She really doesn't want to get too entangled with people who scan codes to get things. She has met many people in her past life, and every time she feels it's not good to refuse others, so she follows their advice. As a result, one application followed another, making the phone look like it had been poisoned every time. Sorry, I don't have a phone. As soon as he said this, the older brother was stunned and retorted, how could it be? How could anyone in this society not have a phone now? Lu Qianyun stopped and looked up slightly to gently play with the broken hair in her ear. She said shyly, mainly because I just released it and don't know how to use a smartphone. Big brother. Dot. He never expected that the very beautiful woman in front of him would just be released from prison. But looking at her gentle appearance, it should not be a big crime. At best, it should be a minor crime of fraud. Her sisters should be many, and the eldest brother has a small heart. He mustered the courage to ask, do you have any organization here? Yes. The eldest brother's face became excited, and then he quickly covered his smile. Well, can you let your sisters help me sweep the code? It's also a small favor for the eldest brother. It's not easy for the eldest brother to go out. There is an 80-year-old mother lying on the bed, and there is a baby crying for feeding just a month ago, and his wife has cancer. You can help the elder brother, it's just a handy thing. Big brother secretly smiled in his heart. 
there should be many people in small groups like them. When the time comes, ask this beautiful woman to help him scan the code, and he will receive his commission. He can go and have a delicious meal. After hearing this, Lu Qianyin's mouth slightly curled up, and she knew immediately that it was fake. She had heard this many times in her past life, and if she had been deceived at first, she would have been sealed in her heart by now. She looked embarrassed and said, I'm sorry, my brothers, like me, went in because of the execution, and our organization is also in prison. How about you go in and find them? End of this chapter. 3. Chapter 3 Begins Publishing Tasks You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Start Publishing Tasks The identity of going out is given by oneself, and Lu Qianyin's crazy words come with her mouth open. Now the big brother was scared silly, with his mouth open and he didn't know what to say. He took a few steps back in fear, said goodbye, and ran away as if stepping on a wind and fire wheel. Because the live broadcast in the village has been turned off, everyone in the live broadcast room can only see the hidden camera footage of Lu Qianyun. Got it, sisters, you know how to refuse. Just released from the bureau. Sister, kneel down and beg you to start class. Once class starts, you will be my dear sister. I was originally here because of Yunji, but when I entered the live broadcast room, I saw another person. However, there is a saying that this person is really funny, just came out of the bureau. How about you go in and find them? I really laughed when I heard these two sentences. I never expected Lu Qianyun to be so funny. As a passerby, I didn't have a good impression of her, but now I seem to have such a good impression of her, uh. I feel better about Lu Qianyun for the first time. If I had seen it yesterday, it would have been great. I even scanned the QR code yesterday, and I don't know how to refuse others at all. Now, Lu Qianyun, you have really taught me a good method. Next time, I will give it a try. TSK TSK TSK, Lu Qianyun really has the strength. She can easily change people's views on her if she goes crazy, and her methods are unparalleled. Who said it's not? She's already a rotten person to the bone, I really don't understand why anyone else is interested in her. From the production team, could you please release Xinxin from our family as soon as possible? I'm here to see her, not the trash. Fifteen minutes later, Lu Qianyun appeared in front of everyone. By Xian saw her anger surge to her head and said, Why are you here now? Let's wait for you for a few hours. You really have a face bigger than a plate. Lu Qianyun. I'm particularly good at learning how to bark, do you want to hear it? Ah. Let's hear it. By Xian calmly glanced at the live broadcast cameras that had already been opened around her and secretly felt pleased. Since Lu Qianyun wanted to add some humor to her, she didn't mind. Lu Qianyun. Why are you only here now? Let's wait for you here for a few hours. You really have a face bigger than a plate. Lu Qianyun ignored the gaze of Bai Xian and the others, and directly sat down alone in a place without the sun. In the original work, this woman is Bai Xian, the younger sister of the female lead Bai Hua. Because she couldn't stand being compared to Bai Hua all the time, she felt that she, surrounded by black materials, had no comparability with her sister. Therefore, she created many obstacles for Lu Qianyun in this variety show. It can be said that a large part of the reason why Lu Qianyun was banned in the entertainment industry is because of what Bai Xian did. Live Broadcast Room Lu Qianyun, if you can speak, speak more. Don't be stingy, show off your intelligence. Dog Head, whether or not to say it, Lu Qianyun has a bit of intelligence on her body. The person opposite by Xian feels like her brain is tied to her waist belt, which is of no use at all. Lu Qianyun is really malicious. Even though she was late, she cursed our family's Xian Xian in the opposite direction. It's shameless, it's so shameless. Lu Qianyun, please leave some face for yourself. I really don't know how your descendants will face you when they see your malicious appearance now. 
Bai Xian stomped her feet in anger, wanting to come up and trouble Lu Qianyun, but Yun Ji glanced at her and let out a soft snort. The meaning behind it was obvious, and she could only give up seeking trouble and eat this dumb loss. Having been hiding behind the crowd without much presence, the middle dot aged man in his thirties and forties glanced at Lu Qianyun and then turned to ask Yunji. I just entered this girl's live broadcast room, and the little girl's speech is quite interesting. Yunji, what do you think? This sentence undoubtedly stepped on Yunji's pain, and she gave him a sidelong glance without saying anything. Many people in the entertainment industry know that Yunji has a close rival named Xin Zhao. At the peak of the entertainment industry's literary and artistic films, they have always been difficult to sell, but as long as Xin Zhao joins, they will become a hot selling product in no time. And in that era when the internet was not yet developed, Xin Zhao's posters would be posted in every household, so it can be said that he is a legend of the era. And when he was young, he was asked by a reporter in an interview what his views were on the newly emerged talented actor Yun Ji in film and television. He replied, you know, it's hard to judge. It's like a mountain across a row. I'll bless her because it's hard to do. Reporter. Recently, the two of them collaborated on a play. Can you talk about her role in the play? Shen Zhao said, I don't know why I found her. What effect can it have? Hmm, maybe it's just a vase, nice. The two of them became entangled. After reading this passage, Yunji's face contorted in anger. When she delivered her acceptance speech at the award ceremony after her arrival, she deeply satirized Shen Zhao's blindness. She didn't reply, and Shen Zhao didn't care either. He naturally withdrew his gaze and smiled lightly at the corner of his mouth. I wiped it, but I didn't expect Emperor Shining to have a good impression of Lu Qianyun. He probably didn't know that the actor who Lu Qianyun touched porcelain was his nephew, Shi Liang. I have really seen this pair of enemies since I was young. Emperor Shining is too sincere. Emperor Shining said that I advocate sincerity, with words flying ahead and brains chasing behind. He has contributed a lot to the entertainment industry, mainly speaking without thinking. He has offended many people in the entertainment industry. I remember the last time a journalist interviewed him about his views on the current entertainment industry, and he said a few words without saying anything. It's really funny. Everyone is here, then let's start. The director sat on the ponytail with a loudspeaker and said, Yesterday, everyone first visited our Xinghua village. We allocated a room for each of us, and I believe everyone had a very good impression of this place after experiencing it all day. So, let's release the task for the afternoon. After hearing the director's words, Lu Qianyun looked speechless. Does the director believe what she said? Firstly, her impression of this place is not good. House. Is that called a house? It seems like finding a bracket, with a board covering it and a table and a chair added inside. Do you call this a house? Whose house is leaking air, overgrown with weeds, and its dilapidated windows and doors fall off easily? Other people's faces are also filled with speechlessness. Director, go and see for yourself. Can such a house leave a good impression on people? Not only guests, but also netizens in the live broadcast room feel that the director is joking. End of this chapter. 4. Chapter 4 Transform into a Jet Warrior You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 4 Transform into a Jet Warrior The task for the afternoon is for everyone to decorate their slightly monotonous house. The director ignored the silent gaze of the stars in front of him and continued. Now, let me give you a welfare opportunity where netizens can create a house full of imaginative colors with you. The program team will provide you with some materials. The director's team prepared a room for each guest to do a live broadcast, and discussed with netizens how to decorate the house during the live broadcast. After the director finished speaking, she let the guests into the live broadcast room. After Lu Qianyun walked in, a TV screen was placed in front of her, displaying comments from the live broadcast room. Not many people came in, 
most of them were black fans who came in to attack Lu Qianyun. The kind of thief who curses one sentence at a time is unpleasant to listen to, and who never leaves their relatives behind. Originally, Lu Qianyun pretended not to see it, but the comments section was full of vulgar language, making it difficult for her to miss it. Forget it, she can't bear it anymore. The quality depends entirely on one's mood. Who is Lu Qianyun? Her personality is. If you don't provoke me, we'll be fine. If you provoke me, Jet Warrior. A soft smile. Why are you still here? I can't bear to watch this variety show because of you. Can you roll out smoothly and don't get in the way here? Life is bad because of you. Lu Qianyun said, I don't listen to a word when it comes to bird songs, as you look elegant and refined. Life is about boldly opening the microphone. Who dares to scold you? It's okay to be a jet warrior, she's not used to this kind of keyboard warrior. Shi Ji Lang's fruit flesh. As someone like you, who wants it in the future? Whoever marries you has been unlucky for eight lifetimes. If you go home, there will be a cloudy day, a gloomy darkness. Lu Qianyun tilted her head and blinked, saying, the scraps of society, the little pride in my mother's eyes, don't worry, I'm safe and sound. Many bored netizens who came in really laughed and they heard these conversations. This Lu Qianyun is really funny. Guo Zi loves eating durian very much. The actor has already expressed that he is not interested in you anymore. Can you stop pestering him? You are like a piece of candy, annoying. Hurry up and go back and be your single dog. After seeing it, Lu Qianyun's face changed and she said in a dangerous tone, Don't call me a single dog, that would hurt your self-esteem. Please call me Mother Danhua. Net friend someone quickly told me why Lu Qianyun is not playing according to the routine now. Shouldn't she be trying hard to establish a relationship with the actor? Why are we taking the crazy route of sand sculpture now? But. Why do funny thoughts come to mind? Netizens suddenly felt that the madman on the screen seemed, seemed, could, and was probably a bit cute. Another group of people in the live broadcast room, who search for entertainment news marketing accounts online every day, immediately realized that the popularity of Lu Qianyun's live broadcast room is slowly rising, and it is a wave of traffic, and it is also a strong potential stock. They all recorded videos of Lu Qianyun going crazy and turned around to create copy and videos. Within a few hours, videos about Lu Qianyun going crazy appeared on various mainstream apps. It has to be praised that their speed is really fast, worthy of being a marketing account. Moreover, they are not only fast, but also willing to invest a lot of money. They have bought traffic push notifications for videos on various platforms, which has led to several million views of those videos being posted in a short period of time. The number of comments in the highly praised video has reached over 80,000. As a result, nearly 150,000 people quickly flooded into Lu Qianyun's live broadcast room, almost squeezing out the official variety show's live broadcast room. Hurry, hurry, someone told me what year it is tonight, and why did she see the black spots in the entertainment industry transform into such a funny personality, I really want to be laughed to death by her. Why is Lu Qianyun so outstanding when it comes to the same waste plate, and why is she so outstanding when it comes to 9.Your compulsory education? I cry to death. JPG, it seems that I can only come to see TikTok at noon, or I will die laughing here sooner or later. This answer is that the entire entertainment industry is exploding. The director asked you and netizens to collaborate on the construction of a house, but you sang the double read here. It seems that only the few people next to the live broadcast room are diligently completing the director's task, ha ha ha. At this moment, the director who originally had no hope for Lu Qianyun and even wanted to end the contract with her in advance was foolish. Not just him, the entire variety show team is all dumbfounded. I have never seen such a terrifying live broadcast room before. In just one second, there were three to four hundred people, and with just a blink of an eye, 
the number of people in the live broadcast room surged to several hundred thousand. Is Lu Qianyun still the notorious online slut they know, despite her popularity? The director in front of the monitor was holding only a cup of tea, and his trembling hand shook the tea to the ground. The young man next to him who was responsible for screen cutting stared blankly at the screen for a while, and both eyes were about to pop out of his sockets. After being incredulous, he rubbed his eyes and looked at the number of people in the upper right corner of the screen again, stuttering, is this, this, this. Number of people. Real. It's not surprising that he lacks insight, but the development of the plot is too eerie. The previous second, Lu Qianyun's live broadcast room was filled with some fanatics, with only two to three hundred people. At its peak of popularity, it surged to five hundred people. But it didn't take long for it to reach hundreds of thousands, which is almost setting a record for live streaming platforms. He turned his head stiffly to look at the director and found that he looked the same as himself. The director is also very confused. Although he is still in a confused state, as a qualified director, he firmly said the next second, quickly asked the operations team to switch Lu Qianyun's live broadcast room to the main account of the variety show, and also asked them to buy some hot searches for Lu Qianyun, to increase this momentum. This wave of traffic is in vain, and as long as the director is not mentally disabled, he will know what to do. Although he still doesn't understand why there are so many people in Lu Qianyun's live broadcast room, it doesn't affect him earning traffic through Lu Qianyun at all. Thinking of this, he stared at the woman on the screen with fiery eyes. Xiao Lu, go and send the best photographer in our group to Lu Qianyun. Also, remember to click more on the camera in her house and increase the proportion of the live broadcast room. The director's mind was spinning fast and he immediately gave orders after thinking about something. He asked the director to bring out the footage of Lu Qianyun's live broadcast just now. After carefully watching the replay, the director touched the small beard on his chin and squinted his eyes, saying, this Lu Qianyun has become quite interesting now, talking crazy, duh. Xiao Lu, go and contact Lu Qianyun's company, and also ask the hot search engines to use the characteristic of Lu Qianyun's crazy speech. Xiao Lu looked at the director in embarrassment, his expression hesitant to speak. The director saw, what's wrong? What do you want to say? Xiao Lu rubbed his head and said awkwardly, Director, Lu Qianyun has long been on the trending list, still the first and most popular type. Hashtag the crazy talking female lead has been found Hashtag the first mentally ill leader in the entertainment industry Hashtag Lu Qianyun turning red Hashtag Lu Qianyun live room The director opened his mouth and said, Abba, Abba. There are dozens of entries about Lu Qianyun, and she alone has five out of the top ten, surpassing the other entries. Come on, come on, she's boldly driving the wheat. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 being a human being is not necessary, it's too normal. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. 6. Chapter 6 Creating Ideal Housing You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 Creating Ideal Housing The one-hour live broadcast ended, and all the guests left the live room and returned to the village entrance. The director squinted his eyes and said with a smile, I believe everyone has discussed the best plan with netizens. Now everyone can draw their own imagined houses, it only takes five minutes. The production team will have professionals allocate materials based on everyone's artwork. After receiving the materials, everyone can go back and decorate themselves. As soon as the director finished speaking, a staff member handed the four celebrities pictures. After taking the paper, Lu Qianyun glanced at it and threw it aside, lying on the slate with her eyes closed to bask in the sun. Bai Xian glanced at her with a faint smile at the corner of her mouth. Paintings are not something that ordinary people can draw. She knows the skill of Lu Qianyun, a three-legged cat. She only knows how to draw triangles and squares when drawing houses, and elementary school students are better at it than her. A perfect arc was drawn on the drawing paper, and by Xian confidently drew it. 
it must be said that this stage was like the director deliberately set it for her. Among these few people, only she is the best at drawing. She confidently drew on the paper, and her paintbrush without a second's pause caught the attention of the audience in the live broadcast room. By Xian is so confident. I see that her paintbrush has no intention of pausing at all. Let me give you a science popularization. Our family Xinxin has won the first prize in provincial painting, national painting, and various other painting competition awards. It can be said that Xinxin is a crushing presence among these people. First of all, I declare that I am not a fan of anyone. By Xian's strength is definitely the top among these people. Another cold knowledge is that by Xian's painting skills are not as good as her sister by Hua's. She has seen Bai Hua's works before and can truly responsibly say that at her age, she is definitely one of the top five artists. Yun Ji, who picked up a paintbrush to paint, accidentally caught a glimpse of Lu Qianyun lying flat next to her. She then glanced at the unfinished paper beside her and furrowed her brow. She's too immature, isn't she? She's the same age as her parents, so she can't be considered her elder. She's still sitting here. How dare she lie down? She looked at Lu Qianyun with increasingly cold eyes, but her tone became gentle as she spoke, Why haven't you painted yet? There's not much time left. Lu Qianyun's beautiful eyes slowly opened and her gaze shifted to Yunji. Her gaze seemed to be scrutinizing, giving Yunji a feeling of her privacy being peeked into. This woman, Lu Qianyun, remembers very clearly. In the original work, when Bai Xian was making trouble for Lu Qianyun while slowing down the plot of variety shows, Yun Ji was also adding fuel to the situation. Even implicating her on Weibo, causing her to be once again subjected to online bullying by Yun Ji's fans. This woman not only had a black hand on Lu Qianyun, but also had a black hand on her good friend when she was young. Her friend was a post.pop superstar in the entertainment industry in the 1990s, and set a record for crowds during the concert, leading the world in record sales. But her best friend chose to quit the entertainment industry at the peak of her career and married a poor boy in love. Until she reappeared in everyone's sight, it was because her husband had an affair and took away all of her assets, and she came out to take on commercial performances. The most I dot catching thing is that her husband's extramarital affair was with her best friend Yunji. Lu Qianyun looked up and down at Yunji. Stepping into her best friend's marriage, TSK TSK, this woman is really, I live to be a hundred years old, do you know why? Yunji was bewildered by her sudden question, why? Lu Qianyun stood up and looked at her seriously, because my milk doesn't care about anything. Yunji. Dot. Puff, I burst out laughing. Lu Qianyun's straightforward personality is truly likable, and she is deeply attracted by her personality charm. I can't stand Yunji for a long time. She destroyed my goddess's family, made things difficult for other artists on various variety shows, and played a moral kidnapping with her. Lu Qianyun's criticism is good, give you a thumbs up like. Netizens who heard this sentence from Lu Qianyun are all commenting that it is well said, after all, the former singing queen is difficult to calm in the hearts of a generation. Do you understand the importance of respecting the elderly and loving the young? Yun Ji couldn't bear it anymore after listening, her originally calm face now filled with anger. Is that how your tutor works? Or are you just someone who has no one to take care of? Before Lu Qianyun could speak, netizens couldn't help but say. Your tutoring is good, your tutoring is the best. Does your tutoring mean that others are something that no one can raise? Yunji, have you forgotten that she talked about other celebrities and ordinary people's famous scenes on various programs? I still remember her saying that a child without a father or mother is a dead mother thing. Yes, yes, I still remember. If it weren't for the underdevelopment of social media at that time, Yunji, this disgusting thing, would have been scolded out of the entertainment industry long ago. How could she have managed to get to her current position? Moreover, it's not certain whether her trophies will be clean or not. 
I heard she was taking money. Cough. Seeing this, I couldn't help but shout along with everyone, Yunji, big SB. The scene of Lu Qianyun getting angry as imagined did not appear. In front of her, Lu Qianyun casually inserted her hands into her pockets and lifted her eyelids to look at her. Yunji's heart trembled for an instant. But after spending so many years in the entertainment industry, she was still able to control her emotions, and Yunji quickly adjusted the strange feeling in her heart. Lu Qianyun didn't get any angry at all. She had already mastered Yunji's trick. Isn't what she said just to make her angry and then use her senior status to exert moral suppression on her? It can only be said that the methods she used were too low dot level, and compared to what she had experienced in her past life, it was completely like the difference between elementary school questions and the final exam questions. If Yunji wants to kidnap her, she will have to go back and practice for a hundred years. Lu Qianyun replied lightly, Don't shout at me, I've been afraid of dogs since I was young. Puff. The on-dot site staff couldn't help but laugh first. Yunji's words were like punching cotton, completely failing to achieve the desired effect. Faced with the ridicule of everyone, Yunji's crystal clear tears welled up and dripped down from the corners of her eyes. Her tearful appearance made her fans feel heartbroken. What's wrong with you, girl? I'm just worried that if you don't complete the task on time, the production team will punish you. As a girl, you can't bear it. Why don't you just start scolding me when I say one word? The coquettish tone makes people's hearts ache. Well, seeing the plot shattered, he began to use emotional drama to kidnap morality again. Lu Qianyun's lips curled up as she said, green tea is available every year, and lotus flowers bloom every year. As long as my sister is here, my sister is always a spare tire. After speaking, she didn't care about Yunji's reaction. She lowered her head and picked up the paintbrush, swishing it on the white paper before handing it over to the director at the last second. The bold and confident appearance is even more eye-dot-catching than by Xian. Netizens of Lu Qianyun on the new fans have all expressed that their match with Bai Xian is stable, absolutely stable. Seeing the appearance of Lu Qianyun, Bai Xian unconsciously grasped her finger and stared at the paper in the director's hand. When the director showed the things painted by Lu Qianyun to the camera, Bai Xian instantly burst into laughter. The netizen who was originally optimistic about Lu Qianyun and even called her instantly shut up. It's truly Lu Jie, crazy is her style. End of this chapter. Chapter 7, This is her, crazy, personality. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7. This is her, crazy, personality I saw a huge umbrella painted on the drawing paper, and underneath it lay a matchstick man with two hands. Director. Dot. His veins kept bulging on his forehead, careful not to jump wildly with dirty bumps. What exactly did Lu Qianyun experience, and why is she now completely different from what he understands? Now it's like a complete madman. If he knew that Lu Qianyun was like this, he might hesitate and hesitate when inviting her. Director. Lu Qianyun, is this what you drew? Lu Qianyun. That's right, otherwise. Did I draw it not concise and clear enough? Can't you understand? The director was speechless and waved his hand to ask her assistant to take away her unique work. Only Lu Qianyun could appreciate this work, right by Xian laughed at the director's reaction and her proud head stood straight up. When Lu Qianyun passed by her, she heard a proud laugh. She couldn't help but stop and turned her head, saying, don't be in heat in the summer. Those who don't know think you're asking me for a peacock. By Xian's happy expression froze for an instant, her malicious gaze fixed on Lu Qianyun, and the resentment in her eyes persisted for a long time. Watching the match between Bai Xian and Lu Qianyun, I really feel like a high dot level expert has arrived at the novice village. Bai Xian is no match at all. There's no suspense at all, isn't by Xian quite capable. When I participated in a variety show before, I scolded a celebrity directly and ended up quitting the show. 
how come I'm now suppressed by my bloodline? I don't seem to understand why these two people have always been in a hostile state. Could you please ask the class representative to explain? The class representative has arrived, and the reason for their argument is that Lu Qianyun often troubles Bai Hua. As Bai Hua's sister, Bai Xian naturally has to fight against her sister the director later showcased by Xian's works. Initially, netizens had high expectations, but when Bai Xian's works appeared in front of the camera, netizens all shut up. Is this a new high dot quality joke? Drawing a shrimp as four different things is really a skill. Bai Xian, who was already infuriated by Lu Qianyun, became even angrier when she saw the people laughing on their faces. She raised her foot and wanted to find trouble with Lu Qianyun. She couldn't help it anymore. If she didn't tear her up today, how could she still survive? As soon as she took a step, someone grabbed her wrist, and Bai Xian looked at Yun Ji who was holding her hand in confusion. She really wanted to get rid of her hand now, but she remembered her sister Bai Hua's advice not to argue with Senior Yunji. She suppressed her restlessness and a smile appeared on her face. Teacher Yun, what's wrong? Bai Xian was pulled to the corner by Yunji and even gave a glance to the photographer behind him, telling him not to follow. Lu Qianyun had no idea what was happening here, and even if she knew, she wouldn't pay attention. She is currently looking at the director's exhibition of Emperor Shen Zhao's paintings, with a forest path paved at the entrance of a secluded house in the courtyard. On both sides of the road stand lush green bamboo, and on the bamboo leaves on the painting paper, there is a drop of water that is about to fall. Lu Qianyun was mesmerized by the painting, while Shen Zhao looked at the little girl who was interested in his paintings. Little girl, do you like this painting? A calm voice came in her ear, and Lu Qianyun turned her head without hiding her liking. She replied, I like it. Shen Zhao. What attracted you to this painting, little girl? He is looking forward to the little girl's answer. This time, Lu Qianyun didn't say anything surprising. She said seriously, perhaps it's the artistic conception of this painting, which can be outlined in just a few strokes to capture people's aspirations. There was an unknown emotion in Lu Qianyun's eyes, and Shen Zhao lowered her eyes and chuckled lightly. The little girl was still a person with a story. Bai Xian and Yun Ji returned while they were chatting. When Bai Xian saw Lu Qianyun, she didn't show all her anger on her face like before. On the contrary, contrary to his usual behavior, he gave a polite smile back to Lu Qianyun. When passing by Shen Zhao, she politely greeted her, as if the woman with uncontrollable emotions ten minutes ago was not her. After Yun Ji returned, she sat quietly in her seat, her slightly old dot fashioned eyes staring ahead without looking at anyone. There were still voices whispering about her around, but her expression remained unchanged as if she hadn't heard her. After presenting all the paintings, the director said, Now everyone has drawn their ideal place. I believe everyone has carefully considered and discussed it with netizens. When the director spoke, his gaze drifted towards Lu Qianyun with a vague expression. This little gaze, this little connotation, netizens laughed uncontrollably. Director, you understand the essence anyway, Lu Qianyun's ideal place is just having a shelter from the rain, which is enough. It emphasizes a primitive style, and I will really be laughed at by her. Director. Lu Qianyun, it's my blessing to have you. Sister Lu focuses on a rebellious girl. Lu Qianyun's expression remained unchanged, without any shame of being named, and she was still playing with her fingers on her own. Director. I will distribute the materials to everyone in an hour, of course. The director deliberately lengthened the ending, his mesmerized gaze making people feel uneasy. By Xian couldn't help but speak up, director, if there's anything, just say it directly. Don't make that expression. Those who don't know think you're going to eat people. Director. Xian Xian is really good at joking. As a good young man, how could I have bad intentions? What I want to say is that of course, materials are not free, and everyone needs to work hard to obtain them. 
Just now the director opened his mouth, and Lu Qianyun knew what kind of fart he was going to fart. She has participated in many variety shows in her past life, and she has seen many of these routines. By Xian's petite face was full of rejection, with pitiful eyes constantly passing signals to the director. The director was completely indifferent and said, Everyone's workplace today is on the back mountain of the village. There is a group of free-range chickens on the mountain, and everyone needs to drive them back to the chicken pen at the foot of the mountain before the sun sets. Everyone, get ready and we can start. Shen Zhao lowered her eyes and asked Lu Qianyun beside her, Little girl, can you drive chickens? After thinking for a moment, Lu Qianyun recalled the scene of her last time driving chickens in her mind. Chicken flying and dog jumping, chaotic and chaotic, the scene is chaotic. Well, I have experience. Yes. Shen Zhao smiled and said, Can I follow you? I don't know how to drive chickens. Lu Qianyun had a good impression of this handsome uncle and nodded in agreement. On the other hand, Bai Xian naturally teamed up with Yun Ji. The director originally wanted everyone to drive chickens together, because during their pre-recording experience, more than ten people went up the mountain to drive chickens and felt very difficult. I didn't originally want the guests to suffer in this stage, but since they came to their door themselves, then the director chuckled mischievously. End of this chapter Chapter 8 The Car God is About to Depart You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Car God is About to Depart The village entrance is still some distance away from the back mountain, and the director team didn't say anything. Lu Qianyun knew that they had to find their own tools on this road. If you can't find it, then you can only move forward on two legs. Are we walking? Bai Xian looked at the director with incredulous eyes, are you crazy? Lu Qianyun didn't speak, but left the village and walked towards the village. Whoever likes to walk this way, she will definitely not go. Yun Ji saw Lu Qianyun turn her face and leave, and the curve of her mouth became larger and larger. She took the opportunity and said, Director, this place is a bit far from the back mountain. If we walk there, the sun will probably have already set. What else are you rushing for? Bai Xian beside her followed suit. Shen Zhao remained silent, standing on the side with a cold eye as he never participated in these things. He was like an outsider in this variety show. The director is struggling in his heart. He wants the guests to solve the problem on their own and cannot rely on the production team to provide solutions for everything they encounter. Otherwise, what's the point of this variety show? When the guests move themselves, this program is the best to watch. When he was finally about to make a decision, a sudden sound of cars rang out. Didi Didi. Lu Qianyun rode an electric tricycle and rushed out of the village. The driver in the car shouted, Miss, please drive away. The speed of the three wheels was extremely fast, and in an instant, they arrived in front of everyone. Lu Qianyun made a perfect stop with a sudden break and shouted handsome at Shen Zhao, Uncle, get in the car. Autumn famous mountain chariot god serve you. Uncle Shen Zhao. Dot. Help, why is Lu Qianyun so funny every time she appears? Autumn famous mountain. Lu Shen arrives, everyone, please dodge me. Just now I went to the live broadcast room of Lu Qianyun and asked the class representative to tell everyone about the process. Lu Qianyun borrowed this car from a fellow villager at the cost of selling herself. What's going on? Hurry up and say it, it's making people's appetite so high she sold out her talent and danced a square dance to the owner of the three-wheeled dance, an old lady. She even claimed that this dance would definitely make her king on the dance floor. Ha ha ha, I almost broke my thigh at that time, it was so funny, I took off my pants, can you show me this? To be honest, Lu Qianyun's square dance is really beautiful by Xian looked at the extra car produced by Lu Qianyun and was very dissatisfied. The Yin Yang monster said, Lu Qianyun, where did you get this car? It shouldn't have been stolen, right? You think I'm like you, 
constantly losing control of my hands and thinking only about stealing. Lu Qianyun sneered and instructed Xin Zhao, who had just boarded the car, Uncle, remember to hurry up. We won't be responsible for any accidents. Xin Zhao. What? Before he could grab his grip, the car under him darted out like an arrow, causing him to quickly find a handrail to grab onto. Behind them, the new cameraman ran desperately after him, with a bitter expression on his face that only he understood. The older brother thought to himself, Lu Qianyun, please, I'll call you Sister Lu. Can you let us sit in the car and walk? Fortunately, the production team also had a car, so they quickly got in and chased after it. The director couldn't help but smile as he looked at the two people who were left behind and said kindly, why don't you also go find a tricycle? He breathed a sigh of relief in his heart, and Lu Qianyun finally did a good thing, allowing him to control this part and not deviate from the original plan. Yunji definitely couldn't open this mouth, so she asked by Xian to borrow a car from the villagers. By Xian didn't originally want to go, she didn't want to touch those smelly people. Last time she saw them handing her things, her fingernails were all black. Thinking of this, she couldn't help but feel nauseous when she had a picture in her mind. It's not enough not to go to Teacher Yun. After careful consideration, she went to find the people in the village. Neither she nor Yunji knows how to ride bicycles, so the person she found must be able to send them over. She remembered her first time in the village, when a man had been courting her and remembered that he seemed to be single, so by Xian walked towards his house. She instructed the camera behind not to follow, and she went ahead on her own. After a while, by Xian came out in a tricycle. Unlike Lu Qianyun's car, the area in front of the car was covered with iron sheet. I won't be blown by the wind while cycling. When she arrived in front of Yunji, Bai Xian asked the strange-looking man next to her to stop the car and beckoned Yunji to get in. After Yunji got into the car, her exquisitely makeup face wrinkled. She coughed quietly and covered her mouth and nose with her sleeve. The man spoke in a dialect and chuckled, if you're all seated, then I'll start. Didi Didi. Didi Didi. Shen Zhao's phone kept ringing. He took out one hand to check the messages on his phone, clicked on WeChat, and the director's chat box displayed 99 plus messages. Click on the chat box, and the voice sent by the director will automatically play. Shen Gu, let Lu Qianyun ride the bike slowly. Shen, the camera can't keep up, let Lu Qianyun ride slowly. Shen Gu, let Sister Lu ride slowly. Sister Lu, please ride slowly. Sister Lu. As I listened, the director's heartbroken voice seemed to linger in my ears. Shen Zhao looked at Lu Qianyun, who was very excited next to her, and said, How about we slow down? Lu Qianyun is currently in high spirits and enjoying the feeling of breaking the wind. With both hands resting on the handle, the handle would shift left and right, and occasionally the car would drift slightly. Not only did the director want Lu Qianyun to slow down, but Shen Zhao next to him also had the same idea. He is even thinking about whether to leave a will for himself now, otherwise according to this little girl's demeanor, if there were a car accident, it would be on the spot and there would be no chance to speak. What? Lu Qianyun turned the gas pedal to her head, and the wind whistled towards her face, making it difficult to hear the voices around her. Lu Qianyun could only judge for herself. Do you want it to be faster? When Lu Qianyun asked this question, her face was still excited and she wished she could jump out of the car the next second. There is also a high dot speed key on the car, which Lu Qianyun clicks on. Turn the throttle all the way. Shen Zhao's mouth was instantly filled with wind, and from a distance, his face twisted into a ball. Help, why is the speed still speeding so fast? Little girl, have you reached the rebellious period? Dong. The speed of the car is too fast, and when the tire runs over a stone, the car takes off directly. Shen Zhao's expression. Don't do it Lu Qianyun's expression. Sample, this is the limit of the car, not mine after four or five consecutive jolts, 
the car suddenly fell to the ground, and the shock absorber on the front of the car pulled to its full capacity. Dong! Shen Zhao felt that the car was lowered a bit, and before he could even think about what had happened, the road in front of him became downhill, and the car's speed accelerated. Lu Qianyun exclaimed excitedly, I want to feel like I'm flying. End of this chapter Who unloaded my tire in chapter 9? You are listening at novelfull.audio Who unloaded my tire in chapter 9? Netizens saw Lu Qianyun's flying car through the live broadcast footage of the hidden camera that had already been installed along the way. As expected, the autumn famous mountain and land god. Nyobi is not just a boast, it's of exceptional quality. Am I the only one who noticed Shiningdi's expression? Trembling, thrilling, losing control. It's really funny. Unfortunately, my photography brother is still chasing me at a fast pace, ahaha. Camera brother cries to death. Can't catch up, really can't catch up. The live broadcast equipment on camera brother's side is still on, and he carries the equipment to shoot towards the road ahead. But suddenly, something unknown appeared on the road ahead, which startled people. And it still rushed over at a very fast speed. The cameraman quickly grabbed the driver's arm and said, Big brother, avoid it quickly. I want to live a few more years. The driver, relying on years of experience, successfully avoided it. When the thing passed by Ching Che, the camera brother even gave it a special shot. After watching him, he fell silent, and the driver fell silent. They exchanged a glance and fell silent. The next second, the camera picked up the phone and dialed out the phone, shouting heart-wrenching, Director, go save someone. A group of visually challenged people in the live broadcast room recognized that thing. Isn't this a tire? Where did the tires roll off on the good road? There's only one car ahead, it wouldn't be. It seems that it's probably what you think. If you're interested, you can go to her live broadcast room to watch laughing to death, Lu Qianyun's car ran away on the tires while walking. And it seems that the Land Rover God has not yet discovered it. Netizen said, help, what kind of horse catching scene is this? It's the first time I've seen someone so big. The racing caused the tires to run out. The director received the news and quickly switched to the live broadcast room with Lu Qianyun on the monitor. In the picture, there are two people in the car seat, one excited and the other frightened and frightened. The two tires on the rear of the car, one without a trace and the other without a trace. The director was stunned for a second before suddenly tapping the table and saying, What are you looking at? Help someone. On the downhill section, both tires have flown off. In this situation, don't you go to rescue people and wait for a car accident to occur. Sure enough, an entry on Weibo quickly climbed to the top, followed by a red letter. Explosive. Hashtag Autumn Famous Mountain Chariot God in the present world Hashtag Tires have their own ideas Hashtag Seeking the Shadow Area in Shen Zhao's heart Various clips from the live broadcast room were intercepted by marketing accounts and made into videos, and even a blogger on a certain website quickly released a ghostly video of Lu Qianyun. In order to prevent accidents, the members of the program team quickly set up interception on the downhill road of Lu Qianyun, and were quickly intercepted when Lu Qianyun took three turns. After coming down, Lu Qianyun still looked unhappy and said, What are you doing? Don't have anyone else to do the task anymore. If it's a little later, the sun will set. Director. Dot. Do you think I believe it? It hasn't been ten minutes since I posted the task. You were supposed to ride for forty minutes, but you compressed it to less than ten minutes, which is not enough for you to complete the task. Director. Lu Qianyun, would you like to take a look at what the back of your car looks like? She got off the car and took a look behind her. She didn't know what to do, but was startled at first glance. Who unloaded my tire? The director's veins on his forehead erupted time and time again, but in the end, he restrained his temper. In my heart, Lu Qianyun is equal to traffic, and traffic is equal to money. Equivalent substitution, Lu Qianyun is equal to money. 
Do you think anyone here has the ability to remove the tires from your car? I reckon even the car god won't be able to catch up with you. The director pointed to the tire in the car behind him and said, Look, the tire is smoking and there is a smell on it. Do you have to wait until the car explodes before stopping? Director, was he wrong, said Lu Qianyun with her fingertips in both hands she bit her lips and looked at the director with flickering eyes, which made him unconsciously slow down and say, this time, not next time. Lu Qianyun looked at the director with a wry expression, her attitude of wanting to refuse and welcoming was just right. The director pinched her throat uncomfortably and said, if there's anything, just say it. Don't look like this. Lu Qianyun. Director, could you please change a car for me? Director. Dot. As Lu Qianyun returned to the road, the director instructed, ride slowly. If there were any accidents, he really couldn't afford it. Lu Qianyun patted her chest and assured, don't worry. The next second, the button for the highest speed was pressed, and the throttle was turned all the way forward with a sudden thrust. The speed is so fast that the front of the car tends to tilt up. Lu Qianyun stood up and jumped down the front of the car to continue charging. The director could no longer suppress his anger and cursed, Lu Qianyun, what you said is really nonsense. Just as she finished saying to ride slowly, Lu Qianyun raced Lu Qianyun waited at the finish line with Shen Zhao, whose spirit was still uncertain, for a while before Bai Xian and Yun Ji slowly arrived. At the finish line, there is a sign with the rules written on it. Two teams of people are driving chickens down from the mountain. There are two chicken pens at the foot of the mountain. Everyone should drive the chickens back to their respective pens and distribute the materials one hour later. I believe everyone can come back before the sun sets to collect the materials, dog heads. Come on. This task has a mysterious branch line, please explore on your own. Completing the branch line will bring you a mysterious gift after seeing it, netizens are saying that the director's tricks are deep. I'm wiping it, the director didn't know how to put on a prank and said it would take an hour, but the following sentence indicates that he probably won't be able to go back until the sun sets. Director, you are really a little genius. You used to use phones and watches a lot when you were a child the director has a deep set of tricks, I want to go back to the countryside after reading it, Lu Qianyun only had one question in her mind. Director, did you finish today's task after catching the chickens? The director naturally didn't think that Lu Qianyun could finish it ahead of schedule. She nodded and said, yes, come back from work today. Upon hearing the end of work, Lu Qianyun's tired body instantly subsided. She pressed her left leg down and right leg down, looked up and tilted her neck, lifted her eyes, and looked serious. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, let's start. Shen Zhao's soul, frightened by the car, had just returned to its original position when a hand appeared on his wrist. He grabbed him and quickly ran up the mountain with him. The returning soul once again flies out of the body. Help everyone was amazed by Lu Qianyun's execution ability, and netizens saw through all of this. Director, she just doesn't want to live stream and wants to be lazy. Please stop her. I want to see her go crazy after being stopped, I couldn't explain what I saw upstairs, but I laughed to death and knocked at the wooden fish while laughing. It's a sin. Lu Qianyun. It's my blessing to have you. Boom. The sound of beasts roaring suddenly came from the mountain. End of this chapter. 10, Chapter 10 Chicken Flying and Pig Jumping You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Chicken Flying and Pig Jumping After Lu Qianyun pulled Shen Zhao up the mountain, by Xian quickly caught up. Based on her experience on so many variety shows, mysterious gifts are definitely helpful for the subsequent process, and she must get them. She worked hard to climb the mountain, and when she saw the pheasants scattered all over the mountain, her heart immediately became numb. Help, why are there so many chickens? How can we hurry down? She wanted to cry without tears, so she could only seek help from senior Shen Zhao who followed behind. He must have a way. 
Shen Zhao's heart sank when he saw the chickens all over the mountain. How can we rush? The director hasn't given them the tools yet, so let them rush by hand. Lu Qianyun touched her chin, narrowed her eyes into a slit, and met the valiant chicken standing on one foot on the stone in front of her. Well, it looks delicious. Shen Zhao. Dot. I thought the little girl could come up with some good method, but it didn't disappoint him. The same taste, the same sand sculpture. The melancholic uncle walked to one side under a tree with a weathered face, broke off a few long branches, and prepared to use a clumsy method. Lu Qianyun looked at the branch in his hand with a disdainful expression and said, Uncle, you can't do this at all. When you drive all the chickens back into the circle, the earth will rotate more than once. Look at me. You go and stay on the side. There are many chickens on the mountain, making it inconvenient for the photography team to go up, so a drone was used to fly into the sky for live streaming. Guess what method Lu Qianyun will use to drive the chicken back? What else can be done on the mountain? The director's team didn't provide tools, so they might just be rushing slowly one by one. My family only raises mountain chickens, and only we know how difficult it is to drive them back to the chicken coop. However, as long as they are cooked, they will come back with people on their own. But once there are strangers, they will run around and make it difficult for you to find them. I just went to see Yunji's group. Why do they have Xiaomi? I saw them using Xiaomi to lead the chicken down the mountain, I'm afraid it's not a violation of the rules. After seeing it, the director explained, we did not prohibit guests from bringing tools up the mountain, so they naturally did not violate the rules. The director's team is really a chicken thief, I'm not saying that Lu Qianyun can't understand the rules clearly. Who's to blame? Does she still have to go crazy down the mountain to get tools now? I really can't figure out where so many brainless fans of Lu Qianyun came from. Maybe it wasn't the navy she bought herself. The company behind her deliberately gave her a bad impression, boom. 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 The mountain emitted three loud roars of beasts in a row, and the loud tearing sound seemed to be felt firsthand through the live broadcast. Roar low, rage high it's unlikely that the wild beasts in the mountains and forests have caused a riot, as the netizens in the live broadcast room have been filled with this idea in their minds. Director, hurry up and save the people. It's estimated that a few wild boars have escaped from the forest. You should know that this is very dangerous wild boars are not under human control and can accidentally kill people. If the production team fails to rescue them, they may face legal action, hurry up and save my little Lulu. There's no more interesting soul in the world, she can't die, the director also quickly arranged with a solemn expression, allowing professional personnel to immediately enter the mountain to search, and he immediately commanded the drone hovering on the mountain to search. Because the degree of development of trees varies from place to place on the mountain, one area is so dense that no one can see the people under it, and another area is so barren that there are not many trees. Lu Qianyun and her companions had just entered the dense trees, and now the drone cannot find their figures. Under the tree, there was still a noisy sound, and the roaring became louder and louder. Cluck cluck. Hm hm hm. The drone lowered its altitude and circled at low altitude, making the sound in the forest clearer. It then streamed along the drone to the live broadcast room. At the moment when everyone was looking anxious, a chicken burst through the dense branches and leaves under the tree and rushed out. Suddenly collided with the drone. A chicken's paw stepped on the drone and it fell off guard. The only machine that could have been expected to observe Lu Qianyun was destroyed, and now everyone's hearts are as cold as sinking into the sea. Director. Hurry up, let the rescuers hurry up. The hearts of netizens in the live broadcast room are also hanging in their throats. Wait, it seems that the drone can still see the picture. Hiss, help, what did I see? It seems like there was really a wild animal riot. Look, I can't see clearly what kind of animals there are. When the drone's wings fell, it got stuck on a tree branch, which happened to capture the scene ahead. 
In the picture, a group of wild boars, chickens, and rabbits all rushed towards this side. It seems that one can still see a frightened expression on their faces. Give me a bottle of eye drops quickly. Am I going blind? Why did I see a frightened expression in the eyes of a pig? Brother upstairs, it's not just your illusion, I also saw it. Is there a more terrifying presence behind them? Bears, wolves, or tigers? I can't think of it anymore, I just hope the rescue team can hurry up, or else you will really lose your life watching this picture, wait, look again. Who is behind that group of animals? Don't look, don't know. As soon as you look at the next jump, there is actually Lu Qianyun behind. Why did she appear behind the beasts? Is it despite the absurdity of this speculation, the people in the live broadcast room still type this string of words in the comment section? Is the riot caused by Lu Qianyun, uh? I'm also a bit confused. Do we still need rescue? I'm afraid it's not that the production team is going to hire a veterinarian. What needs to be rescued are these adorable wild boars. Look at what they've been scared into. Lu Qianyun held the whip she had picked up from somewhere and whipped the slowest fat pig's butt, saying some blushing words. Little darling, give me some strength, why, is this your limit? It has been confirmed that Lu Jie's body should be fine if she can say this. There is no need to hire a surgeon, it may be necessary to hire a psychiatrist to take a look. Sister Lu is a person who runs like a pig when she sees it. Pop pop pop. Lu Qianyun whipped the wild chicken and wild boar with a whip. Give it a slap, no matter if it hits themselves or not, they all scream and roar. Who knows what they have experienced to form such a reflex. Shen Zhao sat on the big stone behind him, with a face full of vicissitudes. Tired he is the only person who has seen the whole process. The rescue team arrived and surrounded Shen Zhao, asking anxiously, Is there anything wrong with your body? Did you get attacked by a wild boar? Shen Zhao shook his head and said, Look at my mental state, I feel like I'm going crazy. Next, he told the live broadcast footage brought by the rescue team about the crazy things that Lu Qianyun had done. End of this chapter